Number one, what is the total mass in AMU of carbon in each of the following molecules? And then we have letter C. So in this case, we have C12, H10, O6. So the first thing I'm going to write is I'm just going to write this a little bit bigger, just so that I have more room to write on. And the question is asking for what's the total mass of carbon? So the first thing is, is we got to figure out which element is carbon, right? This is just like from memorizing what letters stand for what element. For carbon, it's always capital C, just capital C. So that's carbon. Okay. Now, in order to find a total mass of the element, the first thing we have to figure out is how many of my element are in my compound. Well, let's see. I have a C, and then right next to it, I have this 12 here. You see how there's numbers right after every single element, that tells you how many you have of that element. Now, in this case, we only care about the carbon. So how many total carbons do I have? You got it. I got 12. Now you're going to take the total number of carbons that you have and multiply it by the mass of carbon in AMU. And where are we going to find that mass? on the periodic table. So get your periodic tables out. I drew what carbon looks like on the periodic table. And for every element on the periodic table, there are two numbers that you should really get to know and know how to use them. There's a smaller number for carbon at six, and this is standard for every periodic table. The larger number for me is 12.01. Now for your periodic table, it might be a little different. Just know that the masses can vary depending on what periodic table you're using, but the atomic numbers should never vary. Which number am I going to multiply by 12? The mass is always the larger number. So this is the, we'll call it the atomic mass. And in this case, it's an AMU. AMU stands for atomic mass unit. It's like the smallest, simplest, way of measuring a atom's mass. So I'm going to say 12 times 12.01 and then AMU. And then whatever that is, that's the answer. So let's get Calci out. Let's just make sure we got this down. 12 times 12.01, 144 something. Yeah, 144.12. So 144.12 AMU, and that's the total mass in AMU of the carbon. And that's it. Guys, what'd you think? Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and that will help us out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, let's keep studying hard. I'll be here every step of the way. All right? See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.